Healthcare workers are busy treating patients, but sometimes they need help. Joining us now to talk about that is Dr. Sharon Kiley, Chief Wellness Officer with Hartford Healthcare. Thank you for joining us, doctor. Thank you so much for having me here. I'm delighted to be here. So tell us about the colleague support line and how does it work? The colleague support line offers support to all Hartford Healthcare employees 24 by 7, 365. What we learned in the surge, the pandemic, was while we had so many resources, both basic resources and resources for emotional support, our colleagues were entirely too busy to access them. So we found a one call number where trained operators pick up the call and field individuals to the care that they need, whatever it may be, any time of the day. I heard you talking about this earlier, and you said that sometimes they don't even have five minutes to figure out where it is on the website. They're that busy, and that really just hit home with me that, you know, you're making it easy for yes. them. Tell me about that. Well, you know, all of our worlds are a little different right now, whether you're working at home, caring for an elderly parent, caring for your children, doing schoolwork, et cetera, and trying to work from home, or you're in the front line taking care of patients. Everyone is busier now. Everyone is distracted. And I think that it's unreasonable to think that other things could stay the same, which is Take some time and look on a website and find a mindfulness app, for example, that might give you some relaxation or reach out for some emotional support with a psychologist. Those things take a little bit more time. So we just wanted to take that burden off of the shoulders of our healthcare teams. So what happens when your healthcare workers um, call this line? So they are directed immediately to an operator. So we have it answered locally by redeployed staff at Hartford HealthCare who volunteered for this work and are really very, very committed to it. They're excellent at what they do. And so they listen to understand what the issues are. Sometimes there's many issues and there needs to be follow-up. And so the next step would be, what is the priority? So if it's for emotional support in particular, that person would be directed immediately either to our guidance resources, which is our EAP program, which provides free counseling for them and their families, or they would be directed to a psychologist, psychiatrist who's on call volunteering to support people during that time. And about how many calls have you received so far? So we've been up for only three weeks and we've received close to 200 calls. A good number of them are miscellaneous, meaning that they, because we did tell people, if you've got any question, call us. You know, there's just so little time, so many questions is, is the way we framed it. So we've identified through our miscellaneous category, in fact, that there's some concerns about finances. And so we've ad addressed that as well. And now we have a way to address those financial concerns in a very systematic way. So we're learning as we go. And what have you heard from feedback? So far, we've heard that people are very satisfied. They feel very cared for. We've had some people call back again, which I think really tells us a real story, that they know that they can depend on this service to get them the help that they need, that they're being treated respectfully and that their concerns are listened to. And what about someone who may need the help but not want to call? Why is it so important that they make the call? I think the thing that I've been telling people is none of us has all the answers right now. We're all trying to figure things out. You know, where is it that, you know, for example, you need some housing during a shift, you don't want to go home, you're being redeployed to another hospital area. None of us has all these answers. And so I try to decrease the stigma of asking for help. Healthcare workers are used to being quite certain about the world. So what I've emphasized is we're all living in these uncertain times and that we're here to help and support them. Distraction and uncertainty. I think those sum it all up right there, doctor. Right. And finally, I, I like asking people, community support, how important is it for, for yourself and for frontline workers to feel the love of the community? I have to say the community support really is, um, you know, the wind underneath our wings. Um, sometimes it can be very lonely. Um, doing what we do. We're home and isolated or in fact in full PPE gear taking care of patients. Having others understand the difficulties that the healthcare system is under right now makes us feel very supported and um, very inspired. 
Oh, Sharon Kiley, Chief Wellness Officer at Hartford HealthCare. Thank you very much for being with us. We appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you.